I'm Brad with Unwired View. Today, I'm reviewing the phone, the device, the mystery, the LG Quantum. LG Quantum is a Windows Phone 7 device with AT&T, the latest to come out. Now this one in particular is $199 with contract, and the defining feature on it that differentiates itself from all the other Windows phones on AT&T is the full physical keyboard. So, this is great though because you have choices. You have the full on-screen keyboard and you have the physical one. It's like, what am I ever going to do? I could do one or the other. Oh, crazy choices. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to check out the phone in its entirety and see what I liked, what I didn't like, my thoughts, my innermost desires in my heart. That's right. The LG Quantum Review starts right now. Let's start out with an overview of the LG Quantum. So on this one, we uh, have a very minimal design on the front itself. It's got a 3.5 inch touchscreen, uh, same exact size as an iPhone touchscreen. And uh, really, when you play around with it, it's just as responsive as you would see on an iPhone. So everything moves quickly, you can swipe through, you can press buttons uh, without having to double tap. Just a lot of nice little things, little additions to it uh, that just make it easier uh, to work with. Uh, there's nothing more frustrating than having a slow, unresponsive touchscreen where you're trying to get into stuff. You end up double tapping it, and uh, there's enough of a delay where you're just wondering, okay, what's going on? And you double tap it, and you end up going into something completely different. Really can't stand that. But with this one, you don't have that problem. Uh, also on the front, we see the three, three typical Windows Phone 7 buttons. We have the back the home in the middle and then the search on the right hand side so the back is straightforward it's just the same as any other one you go to the previous screen that you were at before the home button takes you back to the main screen there and then the search takes you into Bing and you can go from there uh, now you can also hold down the home button for a few seconds when you're on the main screen it will give you the opportunity to do a voice search uh, whether it be for calls or for doing a Bing search. That way it saves you from having to uh, do the actual search through the keyboard itself. So that's kind of nice. Uh, also the search button won't always do the Bing search. It, all, it always depends on the kind of applications that you're in. So let's say you're in the marketplace. Then you hit the search button and it's going to take you into the marketplace search. Specifically, that way you can uh, do an actual search for certain applications. Uh, as for the uh, what this thing's got on the outside, uh, we have the volume buttons on the right hand side and we also have the camera button. On the top, there's the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. It's nice because that way you can use your own headphones. Uh, certainly you can use the ones that are supplied in the box if you want, but if you have your uh, really nice uh, headphones with you, you might as well use those. You also have the screen lock. So that way, boom. Saving the screen. Okay. Also, mm, I forgot on this side we have the micro USB charging port. Now this one's hidden by a plastic flap. If I can actually get it out. Okay. The keyboard is the next thing that I want to focus on. I really, really enjoyed this keyboard. Uh, this one here there's plenty of room on it. Uh, you've got wide enough keys and they're all spaced out and slightly raised so that way um, it's easy to use. Now I do have just average size uh, thumbs so you know it's not like I have uh, the largest fingers ever or the largest thumbs ever but honestly for me it worked out uh, beautifully. I never had any problems in my typing at all and it still worked nice and quick. The keyboard itself, as you can see, is a, a four-row system. Uh, the bottom row just mainly being all the direction keys and the space bar. Uh, we also have uh, a few other buttons here, like the, uh, the function button over here on the side. Uh, this one is uh, for all of the blue numbers and symbols, so that way if you ever need to use any of those, you just hit the function button and you're all set. Uh, this one, since it's tucked out of the way over here on the left-hand side, uh, I've always found it a little bit unnatural to actually go all the way over here to use it. So that's a 
really the only concern that I ever had with the keyboard when using it is just having to go out of my way to find the function button every time. Uh, I do wish there was also a dot .com button, um, especially for smartphone use. That's something that ends up getting used a lot. Now, one thing in particular about the Windows Phone operating system is that Microsoft wanted to keep everything as universal as possible. Um, I think they were uh, taking some cues from Apple because you know, the iOS ends up being uh, pretty much universal across the board and across all of its devices. So it didn't want to have the same kind of deal with the Windows Mobile system where uh, every manufacturer was just doing their own thing and coming up with their own interpretation of the operating system itself and it ended up just becoming a, a huge mess uh, and, and the Windows Mobile ended up being different depending on the device that you used. So uh, Microsoft came out with just uh, a lot more strict guidelines onto what can be customized depending on the manufacturer and what cannot. So one of the things that can be customized is the marketplace. So going into the marketplace itself we can find that there are a few apps that are specific to LG. So for example we can see LG App Store. Alright so let's go in. Now some of these apps we already have loaded into the phone itself. For example Play 2. This is already on the phone when I started using it. Uh, Play 2, uh, what it does, let's just go out of here. So what it does is it actually allows wireless streaming. So whether it be to your uh, PC or to your Xbox 360 or if you have some other, uh, other device that you want to connect to. Um, say you just want to connect it to your TV and you have a, a certain DLNA compatible box you can uh, certainly hook this up wirelessly to that and be able to stream all of your media uh, from the LG Quantum to any of these other devices. So that's really nice and even gives you a little how-to setup option. Some of the other options that you have for the marketplace going back in LG App Store. Uh, another interesting one is look and type. I think this was uh, inspired by the story of the girl who was uh, texting and walking and not really looking where she went and she ended up falling down through a pothole. Or excuse me, a manhole. <laughs> pothole. <laughs> yeah, a manhole. <laughs> so uh, if you've ever had this kind of uh, similar accident, look and type is going to be a great application for you because all you, <laughs> all you have to do is go into this application, it uh, displays through the camera um, exactly where you're walking so you can actually have the keyboard on top of the camera application basically and so you're typing and looking exactly where you're walking at very handy to have so that way if you come across a manhole then you'll be able to walk around it uh, we have a few other ones like the toolbox I already got the toolbox in here so let's go in and find it this is just an assortment of a whole bunch of different tools, uh, a level, a flashlight, uh, calculator, unit converters, you know, the usuals. So these are just nice to have uh, on the side just in case. And uh, interestingly enough that this is an LG only application, this is uh, the kind of stuff that you would see uh, available on most other operating systems and pretty much across the board. So. It's kind of interesting that this one's just exclusive to LG. Also going back in, we see stuff like the Panorama Shop. Uh, this is really nice to have just because uh, this will help you take 360 degree shots of uh, whatever cool scenery you're looking at. So this is just a special app you can go into. And there's a, there's a few other ones that you can look at. Um, but it is nice that LG has the ability to come out with its own exclusive apps to give it its own little extra uh, perk or benefit of going with LG Windows Phone versus Samsung or HTC or Dell. So it's just nice to, have, to give that uh, a little bit of an extra comp uh, competitive edge. Let me address the most important part of the phone, and that is the actual performance of the phone itself. 
I'm talking uh, the phone quality, the battery life, and all of that. First, let's tackle the battery life. As you can tell here, it's down to about 15 to 20 percent battery right now. Um, I know it's a little bit above 15 percent because I haven't seen the little pop-up window that says, hey, you're getting really low on your battery. So we know we're getting pretty close to it. But the most important part about all this is that I've been using it uh, all day for my texting, my calling, my emails. Um, I've done some tweeting, I've done some Facebook. So I've used it just rather normal. Uh, I haven't really been uh, skipping anything today. I started a full charge at 9 o'clock this morning. Now it's 1 o'clock the next morning and just looking at the battery, like I was saying before, it's only about 20% right now, but the fact that it's lasted the entire day like this is really nice to have. Uh, with the iPhone and many of the Android phones that I've worked with in the past, the battery life is, you're lucky to get to around 9 or 10 o'clock at night uh, before you have to charge it up again. So the fact that this is still going and I could probably go for another hour or two before it's, it's completely dead is saying a lot about the LG Quantum. I'm really, really happy about that. The other thing about it is the cell phone quality on this. So uh, I've had the chance to use it for my uh, main phone for about a week now, just using it with all sorts of uh, different calls. And I have never had an issue hearing other people. And people that I've talked to has, have never asked me to repeat myself or um, ask me to be a little bit more clear on what I was saying. Uh, so in terms of overall voice quality, it's been very good. Speakerphone has been loud, no problems there. So overall, those most important parts to me, the being the audio quality and uh, the battery life, uh, the LG Quantum gets high marks on. Uh, also, I never had any drop calls when I was using it. Uh, granted, I do live in an area with high uh, reception, so that certainly uh, may have a lot to do with it, but I never had any areas where I was getting tremendously low signal. Um, the worst that I got is sometimes it dropped down to edge, but those were of course in some areas that really uh, didn't have very strong 3G signals, so it just default down to the edge network. Let's recap on the LG Quantum. The LG Quantum, there are a lot of great things that I enjoyed about it. Uh, for one, the battery life was wonderful, one of the best that I've ever seen in a smartphone. The audio quality was great, speakerphone was loud and wonderful, uh, easy enough to hear everybody and vice versa. Uh, nobody ever had a problem hearing me, um, whether it was on the speakerphone or just on the phone itself. I also love the keyboard because just with uh, my average size thumbs, I never had a problem being able to, to grip onto each individual key. I was actually able to fly through all of my uh, texts and emails and uh, in relatively little time. So there really was no uh, huge learning curve for me in terms of using the keyboard. I never mashed my fingers together on it. So uh, another wonderful thing that I enjoyed about it. Overall, the LG Quantum is a phone that I can definitely recommend. It's a $199 with AT&T currently. During the holiday season, there is a buy one get one deal going on, so be sure to uh, get more details on that with any AT&T representative. And definitely be sure to check out our website, unwiredview.com. Right now we have a contest, a, a giveaway contest for uh, receiving an LG Quantum device, so you too can be able to get one of these without having to worry about the 199 or the contract or anything like that. We're just going to send one to you. So uh, head, on, head on over to unwiredview.com to get more details about that contest. Thanks, and once again, I'm Brad with Unwired View.